Welcome to Poland Daily Travel and our second installment of A Touch of Paradise near Warsaw. That's right, the Campinos National Park. If you like paradise near the big city, this is your place. Our ranger guide, Katarzyna Mikrut, makes, uh, makes us feel at home in the park. We'll be finding out some more about the wildlife. We'll take a trip to the cemetery at Palmyra and we'll take a look at the different kind of ecosystems. Nearly 40,000 hectares of forest. It's a big park and it's a lot of fun. So come with me and Katrzyna to Campinos National Forest. Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Will, of course you know me, but do you remember Katrzyna? Mikrut is far more important because she is perhaps the uh, greatest ranger in the history of forests. And certainly she knows everything about Campinos, which uh, place I love, and uh, we're really happy to have, us, have her with us. Um, and I'm really happy to have you here. You're happy to have us here, but the, answer, the question is why? And the answer is? Because you may get rest here, you may charge your batteries, you may walk, you may see the history, you may see the nature, everything is here and so close to the center. Remember that to come here, it's only some kilometers, less than one hour from the city center and you are here. Mm -hmm. If you like, you may start here in the parking lot. After the short visit in the museum, you may go to see we're at, the we're nature. We're at Palmyra still. We're yes, on the edge we are of Palmyra in, with the in museum. The Palmyra. The, yeah. And in the park, we have 10 interpretation trails. Mm -hmm. Here is one of them, not very long, more or less one and a half kilometer. Mm -hmm. And you may do some visit. So we start over here and we end up on the other side of the museum in yes. the back. Yes. And uh, this is uh, about a kilometer and a half. So it's very short. It's this is a little nature. Short, we could do that now. Let's jog. You ready? Let's you go. jog? <laughs> are you ready to jog? No, nah, you said you ride your bicycle, but yeah, are you ready to I prefer to uh, ride bicycle. You prefer or, to ride the bicycle? Yes, okay. or Nordic walking. Okay, um, Nordic walking? Yes, with the sticks. Oh, with those sticks, you do that? Yes, I do that, and this is really good sport, and okay. Campinas National Park is perfect for that. Okay. Because it's rather flat, There's uh, the terrain is uh, natural, so mm -hmm. it's not asphalt, mm -hmm. so you may really Stick the pole Stick into the, the ground. Pole, yes, and uh, get the energy to go faster. And that's why you're using the poles, because you push off on these things? And yes. It and it really works? Because I usually see people who are about 90 years old using those, which is great, but I thought they need them for stability. That's true as well, but, but, uh, uh, but obviously if you are young practicing... Young and energetic people use yes, them too. If okay, you that's are the point. practicing Nordic yeah. walking, it's to... Um, Strengthen your arms. Yes, it's and, uh, yeah, okay. most of the muscles are working in mm -hmm. that sport and uh, you don't get harm and, uh, and injuries. Okay, you just get your whole body warmed up mm -hmm. and into the, into the process. Okay, I, well there you go. There's an advertisement for Nordic walking. <laughs> what do you think of that, folks? Try it at home. No, don't try it at home, try it outside. Trying it at home wouldn't be any Try good. that in Campinas <laughs> National Park. <laughs> try it here, try it here. Listen, when you do come to Warsaw, you've got to come to this park. It's right next door. And as Kasia was saying, or I should call her Ranger Kasia, so she didn't throw me in the Huskow, but uh, Huskow means uh, the jail, she, I think. And uh, uh, she uh, was saying before to me, 17 kilometers from the center, right? To the headquarters. To, to your headquarters. Mm -hmm. So that really is a short... It's really Bike short, ride. and yeah. you may come if you don't have car. Mm -hmm. You may take uh, public transport, mm -hmm. subway, after a few stops of bus, and you are in a national park. Mm -hmm. So you can go yeah, to the end of this, the, the metro, and then uh, there's a bus from there that comes mm -hmm. right to the park. You can also take a bus right here to yes. Palmieri, yes. which is really in the heart of the eastern part of the forest. So it's good. You want, should we go for a walk? Yeah. Please okay. follow me. Okay. I mean, after all that talking about walking, but I don't have any poles, so I, I don't uh, have uh, yeah, either with these me. Sticks. You have, uh, should we pretend we have them? No, that would be too much like miming. That would be like miming. It would be horrible. <laughs> we'd have to be, you know, uh, we'd need Marcel Marceau to help us for that. Okay, so this is the kilometer. <laughs> This is one kilometer and a half, this, this path, is that Something right? around that. Uh -huh. And on that path, on all 
interpretation trails, uh -huh. we have information boards, like uh -huh. the one uh, we stopped uh, before. Okay. And each stop tells about uh, different attitudes or different uh, things about the park. Mm -hmm. It may be about the nature, about some species, some plants, about the specific place we are uh, in. Mm -hmm. So without any guide, you may get some information about uh, the place. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what are we likely to see on this? I mean, this is too close to, to, the, to the center for us to see a moose, probably. Do you think we could see? You it? are wrong because uh, really, I'm wrong again. <laughs> because I gotta be, I gotta be, I'm getting tired of being right. I'll tell you. Okay. We may, if you are lucky, yeah. moose are coming out, but mostly here? during the winter. Re yes. Even here. Yeah. Even here. Be careful. Look around. Maybe there is one somewhere hidden between the trees. But they're not dangerous, are they? Rather not. They are no. not treating people like. Um, their enemies, so mm -hmm. you may get really close uh, to, to, to moose, mm -hmm. but not too close. And be careful, if, like a horse, mm -hmm. if... Uh, Ears go back. Go back, run get, away. <laughs> get, uh, should you run or just walk fast? Walk fast. Don't because run, because it means it scare. means that uh, it, it gets yeah. um, angry yeah. and may attack. Although they seems to be very very slow mm -hmm. they in fact they are very, very fast. fast they yeah. are running very fast yeah. and uh, they may bite yeah. and kick they can bite and kick mm -hmm. that doesn't sound good it reminds me of my ex-wife <laughs> just kidding no that was a bad joke okay anyway <laughs> it's <laughs> biting and kicking not good not yeah. good. No, I don't it's, like that. It's dangerous, and yeah. so it's better to keep some distance between uh, you and wild animal. Okay, so you keep distance between you and the wild animal, okay. As a ranger, you have to say that, and now we're allowed to, if I have popcorn or some raw meat, I'm allowed to feed them, right? No. No, I can't <laughs> feed them? I'm just testing no, you. No, because they, they, no, you, they may get sick. <laughs> you after. told me before I'm not allowed to feed them, so I believe you. Okay, I mean, I'm not going to feed them in front there's, of you. There's enough of food for them in the forest. Oh, that, I, I guess that's why they live in the forest, right? Because that's where the food is. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I wanted to see, like, let's say we're walking on the nature trail, dum de dum de dum 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 you know, just humming a happy tune. Um, what if I saw a wolf? Can I see a wolf? Yes, but they, they are really shy, like mm -hmm. lynx. Okay. So uh, probably they will escape uh, faster than you get to them. Mm -hmm. so, oh, but, right, okay. But, but yeah. uh, you may hear them mm -hmm. when they are, uh, how it's called, the sound, I don't know. Uh, when they're... Uh, when they are singing, let's say. Oh, well, howling, howling. Howling, yes. They don't, do they, they don't sing, do yeah, they? Yeah, they howl. They howl. Yes. Yeah. So they, when they are howling... It sounds like singing in a way. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. what you mean. Yeah, of course it does. Yeah. We had once um, mm -hmm. a situation, it happens, mm -hmm. that uh, one of our foresters, they pretend uh, they gave the sounds like deer and uh, wolves came. Mm -hmm. They made sound like a deer? Well, like with the deer call, with a, yes, with a thing? Yes, yes, yes. No, no, he, with, or with, with, their with, mouth. with his uh, mouth. It's a very talented and, uh, and, uh, uh, and the, ranger. And the wolves came to hunt. You're kidding me, yeah? No. And how many <laughs> live in the forest again? We say one troop, so it's a dozen. A dozen wolves, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it's 12 wolves, then that's one family, one pack, as you say. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is also uh, uh, about the right area for them, isn't it? Mm -hmm. this, this amount of this park. You wouldn't want necessarily two packs of wolves. We'll is it see. big enough? Is we'll it big see, enough? because uh, they arrived by themselves. And maybe it's they tell their friends. Yeah. So uh, I rather maybe they're on wolf they... vacation. <laughs> no, they are. Uh, How long do they live here? A few years. Oh, a few years. That's a long vacation. They're probably moving in. So but they are. They are. Wolves. They are breeding. So it means that uh, this forest became uh, their mm. house. Mm -hmm. A pleasurable vacation as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what do they eat? The wolves in the park? Because usually deer. They eating the deer. Yeah. There's a lot of deer here. Yeah. 
so they, they don't have, have to eat they, sheep they, or something. No, no, or, no. Or we had, uh, we had, uh, we didn't have even uh, one uh, event like that. That uh, they didn't murder any uh, no. domestic animals. No. Yeah, because there's plenty of deer. Of At course. least we do not know about that. Well, d d it reminds me because in in Virginia, for example, or in North Carolina, we have to cull the deer. We have to thin the population of deer because they're too many, right? At certain times of the year. Mm -hmm. um, uh, do you have to do that in the park or, uh, or do the in, wolves in help? In Poland, et cetera, et we also do the reduction of the, of the number of yeah. uh, individuals in the population. Right. Now, the, now nowadays, uh, the ecosystems are not that stable and mm -hmm. there are not um, natural predators. Mm -hmm. Or even if they are, they are, the population is not that strong. Mm -hmm. Human being has have to interfere. Mm -hmm. to, to so it means uh, people have to shoot some animals. Okay. So, uh, do you think uh, as we continue along here? Oh, by the way, it's Poland Daily Travel. We're walking in the woods, and if you think that walking in the woods is not interesting, then obviously you never saw, uh, you never walked with uh, with uh, Kasia, mm -hmm. Ranger Kasia, because she's very interesting, and. Also, you probably never read that book by Bill Bryson called A Walk in the Woods, which was made into a movie with Robert Redford and Nick Nolte. Yes, that's right. So walking in the woods can be a lot of fun. And I love doing it here. And uh, it's even more fun with a real expert for a change. It's fantastic. Okay, stay with us. Poland Daily Travel. We're going to keep, can we keep walking? Mm-hmm. Come on. Off we go.